My greatest weakness when I was first starting out and when I say first starting out, I, I'm honestly talking about when I was five or six years into this. Um, so certainly not by any means like immediately, but as as my skills started to get better with my, my prose and my writing, I discovered that my biggest weakness is that my stories are too long. And not even in terms of word count, but that they take a while to get to the point. They um they they definitely slow build. And you get a lot of of character, you get a lot of a sense of their world, but the downside is that it takes forever to for the for the things to really start getting going, for these stories to really start picking up. Um it sucks too because I love to do that. Like I love um, to read stories that have that kind of slow build. I think I'm the only person in the world, but I I definitely enjoy them. I, I don't I do not mind a slow build at all, um, with very few exceptions. I think um, Donna Tart's The Goldfinch I think is a good example of a, of one that I didn't like when he was the the Vegas scene very early on in the story where it's like it's like a hundred pages. Of the main character being taken away, um, well, not, they basically get the after their mother dies, and um, they get adopted by their biological father, and they go to Vegas, and it's like a hundred pages basically of just life in Vegas um, and what happens to them. And it, for some reason that didn't connect with me, although a lot of that book didn't really connect with me. <laughs> um, but in general, I love slow builds. I love stories that have like these really slow sections, um, and. With my short stories, especially, they they take a while to get to the point. They take a while to build up. I, I and realistically, we're talking about a couple pages, but in terms of a short story, that 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 is that is a while. That is a lot, and they take forever to get going to get to that point, um, or used to. I mentioned that because I was going through my my older collection of short stories, ones that I had written well before I ever started this this write every day thing um, so we're talking a few years ago and I was going through making some edits and I was in the back of my mind I was like uh, you could send these stories off and they're good enough to be sent off and then the other part of my mind was like mechanically they may work but these stories just take too long to get going there's too much scene saying there's too much um, kind of building up of the character um, to really be invested, for, you know, for people to really stick around um, without, you know, the getting to the meat of the story there. And it's something that, that just for years I, I had dealt with. Um, and a lot of, there was a lot of good stories that I had written that my professors would give me feedback on. And it would pretty much all say the same thing. They would all say, listen, I would cut this part, cut this, cut this, and, and start here. And it never felt true. Like, the stories never felt true. They read faster. The core of what I was trying to do was there, but they never felt like the true stories they could, that they should be. It, They felt better longer, if that makes any sense. And I've been thinking more about those older stories and thinking back if I'll ever get back to them. Will I ever get back to reworking these stories um, to any serious degree. Um, I was going through today making some corrections just to kind of occupy my time because I want to keep my editing skills up. And honestly, I've got nothing else to do and I've, I've still got to, you know, come at this thing every day. And I don't think they will. I, I don't think these stories will ever really be presented. Maybe I will one day like release some sort of collection of like the stories that never got published like basically and you can look at them and you can see what I'm talking about but how they do take forever to get up to speed how they um, they just you get you get a bunch of scene setting here etc um, so maybe at some point I will but I, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon and certainly um, not not definitely in any sort of foreseeable future. 
Um, in, a, in a time where I've got this story to get done, I've got my other novel I'm seeking representation on, which is looking less and less likely at this point, just to be honest. Um, where I've got this collection of short stories that I'm working on now, which is light years, I mean, not light years, but is definitely far better than what I had wrote before. I, it's it seems like that like that was a good character building element. Those stories were good to build up my, you know, my skill as a writer. But we're not I don't think I'm ever going back to them. Um, and the themes in these stories that are expressed are very young ideas. Very um the, the sort of things you would begin to write in like your your early twenties, probably. Um, these sort of perhaps perhaps a lot younger, perhaps a lot longer, but typically, um, when you when you begin to write when you're like a teenager and all that stuff, right? There's there's a lot of um, kind of kind of like that quote that I have on my my overlay here about bad poetry and screaming, you you know, look at me, I'm bleeding. Um, that's what a lot of the early writing, I think, for a lot of writers tends to be. Um, my this work right here is not so much the look at me I'm bleeding it was this it was a lot of it's like this very nihilistic sort of stories um, that are at times dark and depressing and they don't scream look at me I'm bleeding that they they actually I think they do make the reader bleed <laughs> for sure um, they don't they don't get that they don't get like self-indulgent like that but it's not a mm, it's not a character that I, it's not the sort of story that I, that I intend to ever, that I feel like I'm in a place mentally that I want to write at this point. I don't feel it. It doesn't, it doesn't, these stories don't hold true to me anymore. Um, there was a time when a lot of the stories I wrote sounded like Dennis Johnson's work. Um, if anyone's ever read like, uh, like Jesus' Son or um, Angels. It, it, a lot of my stories read that way. Um, because that was very true for me. Like, just things I had seen on my own in my life, especially very early on, etc. Um, it was an area I wanted to explore. At this point, it's not nearly as true. Um, I think I'll probably still have some of those type of stories. Even in this collection coming up, I'm going to have at least, I think, one story that's going to be very similar to that. But it's... In general, the the old works, those nihilistic works, those things you write when you you know, you see you see a lot like in MFA programs when young kids, um, when I say you know again people like in their early twenties, who do these sort of programs, who talk, we write about that, we write about you know um, the most um, taboo of subjects um, because it's interesting and it's fun and it's engaging and, it's, and, and it, it it can get a lot of attention really easily because it's so shocking just by its nature that what you might write. Um, for me, I don't feel it anymore. I just don't, at this point, it's, it's this point I want to find more of the mundane, more of the, more of the simple and finding the depth within that, within, um, those elements. Um, even, even as I'm writing a story about a, a small town being rocked by, you know, a mass shooting, right? Um, even then I, I there's, there's heart there. There's heart. There's not this, not this nihilism of like, you know, the world's inherently awful and stuff. There's, there's a sort of element of depth there of sort of of hope in a sense that I want my work to reflect more of so yeah I, I don't think I'm ever going to you'll ever release these old stories again at least not right now um, the idea came to me today I thought about it but I think I think these things are going to stay in the drawer or on the hard drive for a while maybe someday maybe someday I'll go back to it I'll release it but I think for now they're better off left there, and I think it's it's best to kind of move forward with the things that have already been done, that I've been working on, that you all have kind of followed along with.